going to start this recipe by adding our baking soda and our salt to the flour. This is just regular all-purpose flour and we're just going to mix it up. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. All right, in our stand mixer, we are going to add the softened butter. Very important that it's softened and the brown sugar. We're going to give this a mix. Medium speed until light and fluffy. And to this, we are going to add our egg and our vanilla and finally the milk. Okay, we're going to give this a beat. We always scrape down the bottom of the bowl, making sure nothing is stuck down there and on the beaters. Okay, we're going to start adding in our flour, our chocolate chips, and our pecans. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit right now. I like to add the pecans and the chocolate chips while I'm beating. I don't do it at the end. This way I don't overbeat the dough. the rest of the flour and the rest of the nuts and the chocolate chips okay and that's it guys it's that simple so I'm going to transfer you over to the counter and we'll start scooping these out Alrighty, we're back at the counter. I have the dough here. I just put it in a smaller bowl so y'all could see what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you the scoops that I have. And I'll link these down below for you guys in the description box. Now you can use whatever size scoop you want, okay? The only difference is the cooking time. When I give a gift like I'm gonna do with these cookie jars, I like to use the very small one that I have, okay? I don't know how many ounces it is, but I'll, I'll link it for you below and I'll let you know in the description box. But as you can see, that's the size comparison to this one. These would just make giant cookies, which is fine as well. But since I'm going to put them in this jar, I'm going to use the small ones. You can also use this uh, medium one as well. They come out pretty too, but I like to use a tiny one. So we're going to go with that one. Okay, and what I do first is I scoop out all the cookies. Every single one of them. And I lay them on this tray and I pop them in the freezer for a while. This is the, the way that I have found that the cookies come out the best. Uh, that they maintain their shape and they won't spread. So I just fill it up. Scoop it out, pop it onto the, the sheet, and just keep going until I'm done. Alrighty, here are all the cookies. I am going to just pop this whole tray into the freezer and let them sit there for about 20 minutes and then we will bake them. Alrighty, guys, I took these out of the freezer. As you can see, they're rock hard now, and they just set up better when you go to cook them. They don't spread, so we're going to bake these. We're going to give them a little, a little space in between, about an inch and a half or so. And if you don't want to bake all these cookies the same day, you don't have to. Just pack up the rest of them in a freezer-style uh, bag. They're ready to go for you the next time you're ready for some warm cookies. Okay, and these don't take long to bake at all. They take about 10 minutes in my oven. Make sure you check your oven. Okay, and that's it. I'm going to pop these in the oven for about 10 minutes, and I'll be back, and we'll finish off this little project. Alrighty, they're out of the oven. I have them here cooling on a cooling rack. I'm going to let them cool completely before we move on to finishing our little project. Okay, I'm alrighty everybody, we are back. The cookies are completely cool. I did wash and sanitize my jar. I'm going to take this off because I have a little detail that I'm going to add to this. So we're going to put the cookies into the jar. So I'm, I went ahead and put my gloves on because of course I'm going to give these away. So just place your cookies in there. They don't have to be in any special way. I just put them in there. Try not to break them. That's why I gently put them in. Okay, 
it just like that. Take these gloves off so I can work with this. Now I am going to put the lid on it, not shut it all the way so I can wrap the ribbon around it. And I made this little cutout and all it says is hands down you are the best mom. And I put a little hand with some nails, I thought that was cute. So I'm going to put this on the ribbon and then I'll tie it around the jar. There you go. What a great Mother's Day gift. Very easy. Just one recipe for chocolate chip cookies or you can make sugar cookies. Whatever you like to make. You know, I'm sure mom's going to enjoy it for those of you who have your moms. Look at that, how cute that is. Okay, everybody. So this is my idea for a simple Mother's Day gift. Remember, the best thing that we can give our mothers is our patience, our love, and our time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on that notification bell and you will be notified every time I upload a video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will get back with you. Okay guys, enjoy your Sunday with your mom. Happy Mother's Day. Bye.